Morning, folks. Good morning. Last day of our week on the cut. Had a lovely week, haven't we? Absolutely, really, really nice. The scenery has been lovely, and despite all the erratic weather, it has been very pleasant. We've had you've seen everything. It's every lovely. weather you could want. It's been good seeing all the family, wonderful having our daughter come to visit us and our granddaughter. So today we're moored just above lock three on the start. No, Twice lock two. Lock, lock two, there's only one left. Okay. So today we're going to go just around this corner uh, in front of us and up to Bishop Stortford, the only bit of a stalk we haven't yet done. Um, I'm pretty familiar with Stortford, I've worked there for 22 years, but um, never on this bit of a cut. So we're going to get off, have a go up there and see how it goes. Uh, just a little thing, happy 36th wedding anniversary and no quips about getting less for life. <laughs> yeah, 36 years today, good grief. Anyway, off to Stortford. So we're finally going. Shouldn't take long to Stortford and I hope the weather holds up. I wonder how many trees came down in most storms. Quite a lot. So here is uh, another nature reserve. This is where we moored up on our first ever trip when we broke down with diesel bug. Well, we limped back where it was running pretty bad. Um, we tried to turn around, if you remember, in this turning point, winding hole, and it was running so bad, the engine kept cutting out, it would only tick over, stalled on me in the middle. I did about a 100-point turn and then carried on straight forwards because it was so dreadful. Being on an engine, not a lot you can do. But yeah, it's a lovely nature reserve. Next time um, we're out at a weekend, just for a day or a couple of days, we're going to come up here, more here, go long walks around here. It looks beautiful. So much wildlife. Another big tree branch down, but fortunately, fallen the opposite way to the cut. So on this side, that boat's moored up right by a fallen tree. Perhaps it's filling up with firewood. Makes sense. So Linda's trying to get rid of a load of junk. There's a big log, or big ish there, blocking up where you undo the locks. There's no way you can lift it out with that hook. You can, you can just move it. And we move this one here, perhaps. And then just keep her eye on that big log when we undo it all. I think that makes sense. I'll go and shut the, uh, the other door. Just lean against this one and watch Linda fall in. <laughs> I hope not. South Mill, lock one. You need a hook, not a spike. You can't get things out like that, we've tried before. All you can do is move them out of the way when we do the gates, isn't it? So I do the paddles now. Yeah. Not a lot we can do, is there? Oh, 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 success! <laughs> well, that's better out of the lock than in, isn't it? Get done now for dumping. <laughs> right, I'll do the paddle. Some of these stuck paddles are a nightmare. You have to do like quarter it. Oh, that's a quarter of a turn of time. What's that one like? Oh, not too bad that one. Oh, you're stronger than me. Not sure if the camera picks up quite how much junk there is there. I know you always get weed and bits and bobs. <laughs> There's some big bits in there. Looks like some decking plant, nappy, plant pots, those tree trunk things, branches, 
cans. Aren't humans lovely? There's no trouble. We'll open the gates all right and get through, but it's pretty yucky. Right, get these gates undone. Should go now. Yep. You regularly get locks like this that sort of accumulate the debris and it can't really be avoided. But if you can scoop any big bits out, that's good news for you and for other boaters. Uh, the weed can wrap around your prop and the big bits of wood like branches, they can cause some real damage. They could jam the prop up, damage it, even damage the drive shaft if they really jam it hard. So it's best to be careful and get out anything you can. I used my GoPro for this footage and um, as you can see I've mounted it so that about a half of the screen shows nothing but the boat roof. So sorry about that folks, I'm learning and uh, I think I better get a new way of mounting it up. So this is the last bridge for us. The end of the store is very very close. And there's a little turning point up here, the Stort Arm. And if you go straight hit on, you hit a very low bridge. <laughs> you perhaps get a canoe under. And we can moor here. Going to Stortford, get some lunch. <laughs> Good to see some work going on, getting the trees and wood out of the, uh, out of the river. That bridge right ahead you see the canals on, uh, canals, that bridge right ahead you see the cars on is the end of a navigable stort. It's got a little blue plaque on it saying end. I cycled here once, did a 30 mile cycle round Triple White up the stort, leave back home. And uh, yeah, very nice. So Linda's just gone to the M&S food hall. She's had to walk round up to that bridge over there. And there's lots of good mooring here. Some nice mooring hooks. We're just stopping temporary for lunch. And uh, that is the far end of a navigable stort. So unless you wanted to be really anal, <laughs> oops, need tripped over, and reverse all the way up to the bridge to say you've done it, um, I think we can consider the stort done. Well, here we are at the end of the stort. That's it. And that's the end of the navigable stort. It's not the actual end of the stort. Oh, true, true. <laughs> as far as we're going. So we've made it to Bishop Stortford, the end of the navigable stort. The end of the Lee. We've made it to the end of the Lee. Went to Hartford. Hartford. Uh, we've had seven really good days cruising. Well, six because we spent one day. Oh, parked just up. Just parked up. Two days at Stanton Abbott, didn't we? And it's been really lovely, so we're now heading back to base. <coughs> yeah, back to the marina and her uh, home. But it's been a great week, hasn't it? Superb. Right, let's have some fun the last few miles. Not sure about fun, but we were certainly surprised. That's a lot one which we weren't expecting. Having a good gossip. Whoa, look at the size of them things! Sorry, they're called what? 
All right, same ready. Hey up. Get back up. I ran all the way down there for nothing, and you let me. I did. Well, folks, that's our trip over. We're back in the marina. And we're now off home, aren't we? All unpacked and ready to go. Yeah, everything's clean, left for the next time. So, if you've enjoyed our trip, uh, you know what to do. Like, press like, and, and if you don't subscribe, subscribe, please. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. See you next week. Bye. Have a nice week. Bye.